From a performance perspective in 2021, the year bore witness to the unique circumstance in which global equities appreciated in value and global bonds lost value. With booming demand and inflationary pressure, corporate profits swelled, while real bond yields remained low and investors allocated as such. While the Fed will likely begin to hike interest rates throughout the course of 2022, real bond yields will likely remain low, which in our view favors equities. As we highlighted in our fourth quarter 2021 quarterly edge, the equity risk premium remains attractive today, and the 10-year treasury would actually have to double from current levels to actually make equities appear less attractive on a risk versus reward basis relative to fixed income. Moving towards the first quarter of 2022, we do see potential for an uptick in volatility. Margin debt, which refers to investors borrowing additional dollars to allocate to the markets using existing securities as collateral, has exploded on the back of the pandemic given very low interest rates and low cost of borrowing. Margin debt can help expand portfolio allocations and can magnify returns in an upward trending market, but the same is true on the downside. If we do get an uptick in volatility, margin debt that is employed by investors will have to be uh, handled and thus investors using margin debt will either have to deposit additional cash in accounts or sell securities, which could contribute to a snowball effect in volatility. More importantly though, as interest rates rise, margin debt becomes more expensive and thus investors may unwind margin positions. Margin debt has generally preceded an uptick in volatility. And so although there is potential for short-term volatility, we think it just highlights the need for selectivity in portfolio allocations.